I'm gonna take the shade, so, not Silver Millennium. Is there one called Silver Millennium? Oh, there is one called Silver Millennium. <laughs> hey guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm doing a tutorial and review of the ColourPop and Sailor Moon collab. If you don't know me, hi, I love anime and manga. And Sailor Moon happens to be one of my favorite animes like of all time. Yeah, so when this collab was announced, I was like, I need it. I'm buying it. I don't care. So I did. So the products I picked up are the eyeshadow palette, one of the glitters, and the daylight lip bundle. If you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. The only thing I'm worried about is like is the palette looks really light, so probably not gonna show up that well. But then again, I thought the same thing about the Bitty palette, and that one worked perfectly fine. So we'll see. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what shade I'm I'm going to start with the shade Mooncastle and use that as a transition color. On camera, that's looking really white, I think. And if you get in the viewfinder, I'm looking kind of white. But in real life, it's really like pink. Okay. Also, this palette, it doesn't come with a mirror, which I thought was kind of weird. I mean, I mean, the design is cute, but I would like to be able to look at myself. That's not a big deal, but it would be nice if they had a mirror. I feel like this is a palette I have to use with other palettes, but I just can't do a whole look with this palette. Next in my crease, I'm taking the shade Miracle Romance. This purple shade. Oh. The next shade I'm taking is Love. I'm gonna do a semi cut crease. Maybe we'll see how far it goes with the shade Luna because why would I not use Luna? The shimmer shades, we'll see. Oh, that's pretty. They just sell Luna as an individual shade. It's so pretty. Now I'm taking the Glitterly Obsessed in the shade Moon Prism Power. It has little stars and moons in it. Um, when the package came, I opened this up first because I couldn't resist. But I don't like the way it smells. It smells like Jolly Ranchers. But like art, I guess Jolly Ranchers are artificial. But an even more version of an artificial, artificial Jolly Rancher. I don't know. I just thought that was, that was weird. Oh, it just makes it more sparkly so this is how the eyes are looking I actually really like the palette again same thing I thought with the bitty palette I was like oh it's gonna be too light which <laughs> technically it is but you can make it work. The only shade I don't like, I shouldn't have used it as a transition color, is Mooncastle. I feel like I should use a pink or pull from another palette. So if you are gonna pick this palette up, then I would use it with another eyeshadow palette if you are a darker complexion like me. But I'm gonna do the base off camera and then come back and we're gonna test the daylight lip bundle. And we're back. I'm gonna finish up the lower lash line now. All the products I use will be down below in the description box if you wanna know what I'm wearing. <gasps> I should use my Sailor Moon brushes. I'm gonna grab them. I'm gonna take the shades Love and Miracle Romance and blend them on the lower lash line with this adorable Sailor Moon makeup brush. I can't really see. There we go. I forgot that I had these, so I'm trying to use them now. I 
I'm gonna take the shade Silver Crystal and put that in my tear duct, lower lash line. Where are you going? Now I'm gonna line my lips with the Wet n Wild Brown Liner and every time, I never know the name of it. Sigma Brow now. I think it's the only brown liner, so. I'll line my lips with this. From the Daylight Lip Bundle, I'm taking the shade Usagi. This is an ultra bottle lip, supposed to be more moussey. So, so I don't really, I'm not really fond of the normal liquid lipstick. Like these are so much better than the matte ones. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Overall, I do recommend this collection and I do like it. I don't like how there's not that many transition colors. So if you are a deeper complexion, you're gonna need to pull from other eyeshadow palettes. And I don't like how this smells like Jolly Rancher. But besides that, everything came out really nice. I really like it. If you are a Sailor Moon lover like me, you should definitely pick this up whenever it gets restocked. Um, yeah, that's all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more makeup videos, they will be linked up here. I think it's on this side. It'll be linked up here. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Follow us on our social medias. If you guys wanted to test out any more products, then let us know down below. And that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.